We are going to be unboxing the Power Horse 11,000 watt generator with electric start. Its features are 8,400 8, rated watts, 1,000 surge, 11,000 surge, 11, surge 8.5 hours half load runtime, 6.6 gallon fuel capacity. It's a 450 cc engine, electric start, stable power, automatic voltage regulator with voltmeter ensures consistent, reliable power. Extra protection, low oil shutdown automatically protects engine from damage. Runs cooler, lasts longer. 100% copper wound generator head allows continuous operation without overheating. Safe for sensitive electronics. Less than 5% TDD THD. THD allows for safely running sensitive electronics. Includes wheel kit with flat free tires. So here's the voltmeter, here's the fuel gauge, here's where everything plugs in. There is eight 120 volt 20 amp outlets, one 120 volt 30 amp locking outlet, and one 120 240 35 amp outlet. Alright, let's open her up. Alright. Let's see what we have in the box. I don't know if some assembly is required or not. Probably for the tire kit. So the first thing you get it's a cardboard. And then here's the generator. Um this is really heavy, so I'm gonna just take the box out. <laughs> that's what part I was about to ask. This, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the wheel kit that comes with it. So you get two tires. See why they don't go flat, they're just like solid. Solid rubber or plastic. And this must be all the mounting hardware and like the axle. And then this must be what attaches to the generator. Alright, let's get to the generator. We'll make an assembly video on how to put it all together later. Included a 12 volt battery for the generator. Let's go with the electric start. But you have to keep that inside. If it gets too cold, it won't start before you come out and use it. Alright. Looks nice and shiny. Alright, so let's check it out. This must be where you put the 12 volt battery, which has different ends, so I'll have to figure out a way to switch those. Here's your 120 volt, 240 volt. Here's your 8 normal 120 volt. Here's an AC 120 volt. Here's your voltmeter. You also have a 12 volt DC, so if you want to charge your cell phone or something. 8 amp fuse. Key for on off. Here's where you put the oil. I don't know if it comes with oil or if you have to fill it up. Let's check. Oh, it comes with oil, but a little low. You want to come around to the back side and we'll show what's back there. Probably nothing very exciting, but we'll still check it out. What's over there? Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> that is the pull start if you don't want to use the electric start. Uh, so if you didn't have your battery warm and ready to go, you could do it that way? Yeah, if it wasn't charged. Here's the air filter. Wow. 
So it can be like indoors, maybe? Or what? No, no, never can be indoors. You'll kill oh. yourself. But <laughs> every motor needs an air filter so you don't get a bunch of sand and whatever in the engine. I see. Yeah, we'll figure out how to take that off another time. You don't need to take it off unless you're going to change it, right? Yeah, I'm guessing it comes in there. And then there's a choke lever right here. And then here is how you start it, the starting sequence. Up here, if you look, that's where you put in the fuel. Here's the gas gauge. Is it gas or diesel? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It is gas. But you gotta use ethanol free. Ugh. Then in the back here, you have the muffler. That's about it. Over on the other side, you have nothing very interesting. <laughs> it uh, also comes with a strap to hold the battery in. Here's the instruction manual and the keys for starting it. <coughs> so, that is the unboxing of the Power Horse 11,000 watt home generator.